اعوذبلشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشیل اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسی فل ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ بلائٹیڈ اوم آئی ول ٹیل یو دیٹ ہاؤ وی ول ڈائگنوز اٹ آن الٹرا ساؤنڈ اینڈ کلینیکلی لوک ایٹ دس پیک کیئرفلی ان دس پیک دس بلیکش لونگیسٹ پارٹ از کارڈ بلائٹیڈ اوم means pregnancy has occurred but it will not grow further now look at this pig this blackish round the, this blackish this blackish part is called blighted ovum there is no any fetal pole no cardiac activity there is not any growth in this pig so we will say it blighted ovum this is another case of blighted ovum in which pregnancy has occurred but there is not any growth look at this pig it is blighted ovum now i will tell you that what is blighted ovum it is also known as an embryonic pregnancy it occurs when a fertilized egg implants in the uterus but it fails to develop into an embryo this condition is a major contributor to early pregnancy failure or miscarriage in many cases it happens so early on that woman is unaware of her pregnancy now i will tell you that what are the causes of blighted ovum basically a blighted ovum typically occurs due to the chromosomal defect genetical issue that arises during the process of cell division after fertilization the egg begins to divide and within approximately 10 days an embryo is formed however in the case of a blighted ovum the embryo either fails to develop or stop to grow once it has formed these are the causes of blighted ovum now we will read that what are the symptoms patient is presented with heavy vaginal bleeding pelvic cramping pains high blood pressure on uterus and severe nausea and vomiting this is a clear pic in which you will see that in normal pregnancy there is a normal gestational sac but in an embryonic pregnancy or blighted ovum there is a totally empty gestational sac there is not any fetal pole no any cardiac activity so this is called blighted ovum in short words we will say that pregnancy has occurred but there is not any growth no cardiac activity no fetal pole there is no any development how we will how we will prevent blighted ovum unfortunately there was nothing that you could have to done to prevent it it is a highly probable that you will experience a miscarriage when the ovum tissue is expelled from your body during the first three months of your pregnancy medical interventions may be necessary to facilitate the passage to facilitate the passage of tissue or a procedure may be required to remove it now i will show a case of blighted over this a look at this video there is a uterus uterus is enlarged containing a jet black area which is called gestational sac but this is totally empty gestational sac This patient is presented to us with a history of amenorrhea from 3 months but still there is no any cardiac activity no fetal pole but uterus is enlarged and containing a large gestational sac which is totally empty so we will say it that this is blighted ovum